The Russian army fighting in Ukraine is built on lies and death. This was stated in an interview with Radio Liberty by a Serbian mercenary with the call sign Dragan, who spent about six months on the front in Ukraine in 2022 to 2023. The story of Dragan clearly shows that how the Serbs, out of a sense of misplaced trust in Russia, are suffering irreparable losses in the war in Ukraine, faced with systematic violation of promises by their brothers. Human life is as valuable to them as it was during the time of Joseph Stalin, Dragan said. The Serb said he went to war because he was attracted by the prospect of helping the brotherly Russian people and the chance to get a Russian passport, which he was promised. Salary and money were not my motive, he said. Formerly, Dragan signed a contract not with the Russian Ministry of Defense, but with the private military company Redut. After that, he was assigned to a unit of the 1st Sabotage and Reconnaissance Airborne Assault Brigade Wolves and the training of recruits was conducted by instructors of the Special Operations Forces of the Russian Army. After two months of training, in January 2023, the Serb was sent to Ukraine along with others. Dragan fought at Lysyshansk and Avdiivka. They were also sent to Solidar, which was captured by Russian forces in January 2023. He says he counted about 70 other Serbs during his eight months in the Russian army, 15 of whom died in that short time. Many of them were sent into battle with far less training and completely unprepared for combat. We are the only ones who have gone through the full two months of training, Dragan said. For others, it was five to 14 days. A typical example of Russian lies reported by Dragan was the case of a Serb named Emra Zonik. The media claimed that he died trying to assist the wounded and civilians in Donbass, but Dragan says that Zonik was a fighter. Moreover, Zonik only had afternoon training before receiving a weapon, and that's all. Although Zonik was a Muslim, Russian media reports that he was buried in Russia according to orthodox rites, probably for political reasons. After six months in Ukraine in June 2023, Dragan was disappointed by what he saw in the Russian army. In his view, business and corruption are flourishing, and Russians, as we Serbs imagine and consider them, exist in a very small percentage. He also said he understood that he would never receive the Russian passport he had been promised. Before returning to Serbia, Dragan was given a document stating that he worked for the Moscow company Monte Granja in case the Serbian authorities had questions for him. In addition to the Serbs poisoned by pro-Russian propaganda who voluntarily go to die for Russia, the Russians are trying to attract other foreigners to the front, but most often by lying. Rescuers carried out more than 280 operations in Veneto overnight between Monday and Tuesday after torrential rains hit the northeastern Italian region. Near Padua, three rivers flooded, the Turgula and Piovego in the district of Villa del Conti and the Valdura in the district of Loreggia, where 11 people were evacuated from their homes as a precautionary measure. Rescuers were primarily activated for flooding of basement and underground rooms, water damage, fallen trees and static instability. At least six people have been reported missing Sunday after heavy rain pounded Japan's north-central region of Noto, triggering landslides and floods and leaving one person dead in a region still recovering from a deadly January 1 earthquake. The Japan Meteorological Agency on Saturday issued the highest alert level for heavy rain across several cities in the Ishikawa prefecture, including hard-hit cities Suzu and Wajima on the northern coast of the Noto Peninsula. The agency has since downgraded the heavy rain alert, and kept landslide and flooding warnings in place. In Suzu, one person died and another was missing after being swept in floodwaters. Another went missing in the nearby town of Noto, according to the prefecture. In Wajima, rescue workers were searching for four people missing following a landslide at a construction site. They were among 60 construction workers repairing a tunnel damaged by January's quake.
The FDMA said another person was missing due to floods at a different location in the city. At least 16 rivers in Ishikawa breached their banks as of Saturday afternoon, according to the Land and Infrastructure Ministry. Residents were urged to use maximum caution against possible mudslides and building damage. By late afternoon Saturday, about 1,350 residents were taking shelter at designated community centers, school gymnasiums and other town facilities, authorities said. About 50 centimeters of rain has fallen in the region over the last three days, due to the rain bands that cause torrential rain above the Hakuriku region, JMA said. A number of roads flooded by muddy water were also blocked. Hakuriku Electric Power Company said more than 5,000 homes were still without power Sunday. Traffic lights were out in the affected areas. Many homes were also without water supply. Heavy rain also fell in nearby northern prefectures of Niigata and Yamagata, threatening flooding and other damages and suspending train operations, including the Yamagata Shinkansen bullet trains, officials said. A 7.6 magnitude earthquake struck the region on January 1, killing more than 370 people and damaging roads and other key infrastructure. Its aftermath still affects the local industry, economy and daily lives.